The University of Miami is breaking ground on using stem cell therapy for seriously ill COVID-19 patients, providing clinicians in Miami and in Maryland with bone marrow cells that have been cultured at the Interdisciplinary Stem Cell Institute. Joining us now is Dr. Joshua Hare. He is the founding director of the Inter Interdisciplinary Stem Cell Institute at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. Doctor, thank you for so much for joining us. Welcome. Uh, can you... Can you walk us through the process, please, of inside the ISCI manufacturing lab of getting the bone marrow stem cells ready for use? Yeah, so this is a process we've been working on for close to 15 years, uh, making the Miller School a real leader in this. We take uh, donations from young, healthy people. We take their bone marrow. We've also expanded this procedure now to use cord blood as well. A cord blood and the whole umbilical cord. So there are a large number of tissues that we can use. Bone marrow is the original tissue, and we get young, healthy donors. We take a small amount of bone marrow, just about two teaspoons, and then, as shown in the picture, we can um, isolate from the bone marrow the specific stem cells and then expand them in culture so that we get about 40 to 100 doses of stem cells from one donor. And how is this making a difference for coronavirus patients? So uh, this, these cells have been tested in a large number of diseases, including heart disease and lung disease. And the one thing we've learned about them that's very exciting is that they can modulate the immune system and reduce the level of those cytokines that are driving the disease in the coronavirus patients. So when the coronavirus came on the scene several months ago, Many of us working in the field felt that the stem cells could be one of the most powerful treatment modalities because they, they, they can reduce the cytokines and do so in a very safe manner. So the, our advantage of having tested them for over 15 years is that we know that they're safe and we know what the dose to give is. So in the small number of patients we've treated, we've shown indeed that those cytokines are brought down very quickly, very effectively, and that correlates with an improvement in the lung function of the COVID-19 patients. So doctor, how long have you been using these cells and like what's been the success rate in treating coronavirus patients so far? Uh, the numbers are very small right now. We're hoping very much that there'll be public and private funding that'll go behind big trials. We need to do a trial of stem cells that as big as the remdesivir trial, which, we, which we've heard so much about tonight. That was a 400 patient trial. We really need to be able to do that with stem cells to get that kind of evidence. To date, there have been only a handful of groups that have announced results with about 10 to 12 patients in each study. The exciting thing about those small experiences is that they've been remarkably positive. People on a ventilator, can have about an 80, 90% death rate in some studies. And when you use the stem cells, you flip that, it's about an 80 to 90% survival rate. So we think that this is a very important treat treatment modality, particularly for the patients on the stem cells, on the, on the ventilators rather. And we need to really do quick studies that can be done over just a couple of months to find out whether this is something that should be used widely around uh, around the country. Yeah, those numbers sound very encouraging. Uh, what do you think are the chances that this could be fast-tracked the way remdesivir has? Well, uh, the, fortunately, the FDA does have what they call the CPAP program, which is the Coronavirus Treatment Acceleration Program. So everything that's under testing is um, accelerated right now. So if we can get the study done, then we have a chance at a fast-track approval. The FDA has been amazing at uh, their quick approvals of the compassionate use that we've been using. So, for example, the first patient we sought approval for on a Saturday afternoon, and by Saturday night, uh, we had the approval. So we're working around the clock, and the FDA is also working around the clock, which is just really very much appreciated by those of us treating these patients. Dr. Joshua right, We Hare. appreciate you. Uh taking some time. Thank you very much, doctor. Thanks for having me.